never forgot the place that rebuilt the master cylinder on the Land Rover that I, that I couldn't buy the, the part for it. If I recall correctly, I think I'm recalling this correctly, like the part wasn't available, or it may have been like extremely expensive. I just don't think it was available though. I really don't. I think my only option was to get that master cylinder rebuilt. So the place that did that, I, I never forgot them. And I called them recently about, can, I said, can you guys rebuild a master cylinder for a Prius, 2012 Toyota Prius? And they said, no, we can't, we're sorry. And I thought to myself, oh no. Well, no, I didn't think that. I wasn't thinking negative. But I was feeling a little bad, though. I was like, oh, no, what am I going to do? And I like to ask people if they know of anyone that can do it. Like, I love asking that question, right? If someone can't do it themselves, do you know of anyone that might? Right? Not for sure, but just maybe, right? And they connected with me. They connected me with someone that may be able to do it. Now, I was told they can do it, but I'm saying may because I haven't confirmed it yet and it hasn't been done yet. So, to me, once it's done, then I know it can be done. <laughs> right? Right now, it's just, I'm just told they can do it. But that's still exciting. And I'm excited about it. And I have a backup plan. There's places that can uh, get those ABS systems for a lot less than it costs if I go to the dealership, right? Because the dealership is the highest price. But some people like to use the dealer parts because it's going to have the dealer standard, right? That's a certain minimum standard quality. But I've also met a lot of people that sell parts, like work in auto parts stores and, and own auto parts stores, that, that, uh, will say like, oh, well, you know, they, they just repackage the same part. <laughs> and they're showing me parts that look, they're exactly identical. And they're like, yeah, these come from the same place. It's just like a different box. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so if that's the case, you know, then why not pay the lower price and get the same exact part? It literally is the same part, right? The same manufacturer manufactures it. So, anyway, um, I'm not happy with my, what I'm going to call my overly complicated, and I'll just say highly outdated, uh, vehicle, because my car has so many parts on it, you know, when I think about the Aptera Motors vehicle, that's so simple, or like the solar races, remember the solar powered cars? I would love to drive one of those as a daily driver. Just put a bigger battery in it and then keep all those solar cells on there. I love that. And I would love to drive one of those as a daily driver under the status of experimental, right? Which would probably mean I couldn't have more than two people in it and I couldn't, you know, maybe kids couldn't go in it, right? No children allowed or something. Who knows? I don't know, you know. Uh, I don't have kids right now, so that would be okay. Uh, but I'm actually making up the thing about no kids because I don't even know if it's, that's the rules. I just know they have experimental status, like for airplanes. And I thought, well, they could probably have it for cars, right? For vehicles, for people that want to make their own vehicle or do experiments. We're supposed to have so much freedom in this country, right? So much freedom to, to experiment and make things. And we do. As far as I know, I mean, in my experience, uh, I have not experienced anything contrary to, to the great freedom of experimentation. But I'm also careful with what I'm doing. I'm not putting other people in danger. Um, you know, but I love learning. All right, I'm gonna do my carving again. 
So by the way, I think it's good for my mind to be, oh, by the way, I do feel much better now that I had that cliff bar, even though I'm going to break out now. <laughs> my skin's going to break out. I hate that. I don't, there's something in there that I'm sensitive to. I don't know what it is. It could be nuts or something. I don't know. But I do feel a lot better after eating that. Hear that tire? Listen to this. It's going to be interesting for me to watch this video and see what my legs are doing because I can't, I'm not looking down right now, watch where I'm going. That's part of the reason I wanted to make this video is to see what I'm doing. So I can study what I'm doing, right? Study. Yeah, I would love to explore the universe. I would love to. And I want to. I want to do that. Um, the sad thing, I'll say it that way, is that I've seen people that uh, I feel like there's people that have given up life here on Earth to, to go somewhere else. And I mean, how do you feel about that? If you had the opportunity to leave Earth and go somewhere else that's more peaceful, would you do it? You know? I feel like I would. <clears throat> At least to visit and explore. You know? But then why come back, right? Say hi to friends. Say hi to people that you know. Friends and family. <clears throat> It's a big universe, though, and we just live on Earth and talk about things that are impossible, right? Oh, it's impossible, it's impossible. Oh, my goodness. That's like the most boring thing ever. It's talking about the impossible. What's exciting is exploring infinite possibility. Just using the imagination, right? I mean, people say we're, like graphene can't be used right now, it can't be done. And you have this small company, I was talking about Rumble, Rumble Motors. It's like, this small company made their own battery, and they're just like, yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> we're talking about like four times the energy density per weight, right? 20 to 30,000 cycle life, compared to like, what's the cycle life of a lithium battery? A thousand cycles when you start to lose capacity, right? These graphene batteries don't lose capacity. You can do 20,000 cycles and still have more capacity than a lithium battery at a, a thousand cycles, right? My research and study indicate that. And then uh, you can charge them really fast. So you can charge them like 20 minutes. 